Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alpha server. Today they have released a bestiary update, but before we jump into that, make sure to subscribe. Also leave a like because Pog. Let's jump into it. All right, here we are. We are in the Hypixel server. We're gonna go over to Skyblock and we will notice there's a lot of things coming up in the chat, but if we use slash level on the main server, I'm currently level 296, but we go in here i'm level 307 because of the bestiary update so if we go to ways to level up let's go to skill related actually it's probably in slaying yep bestiary progress we can click to see bestiary and you can see this is the brand new menu so it used to be for pretty much every non-boss mob you'd have to get like over 3 million kills to be able to max it now if we go over to graveyard zombies you see we've maxed that out Golden Ghouls got a ways to go, but we've already maxed Wolf. Granted, I have 44,000 kills, probably a little bit overkill, but Old Wolf and Wolf are maxed out with much less than 3 million kills. So the main issue that I'm seeing with this, honestly, is we can't tell all the milestones yet, but you can see there is a bunch of new stuff in here that wasn't in here before. So it used to be Deep Caverns would hold all the mining categories. Now they've got the Crystal Hollows and the Dwarven Mines unlocked as well. They've added Powder Ghast onto the Dwarven Mines. They've added Bal to the Crystal Hollows as well as Key Guardian. So there's some new ones. See Worm Bestiary, we're at level 12 with 155 kills, but that's not max. I'm not sure what is max, but that isn't it. And we've got the Catacombs as usual. But yeah, they've got all of the different mobs in here and i'm sure they're a lot easier to max on a lot of these because i have they added bats to this as well the secret bats I've got 257 kills on those but we're at bat level 11 normally 257 kills would get you to like level four but this is level 11. they've also got terracottas in here so a lot more mobs that are like floor specific the mimics are here they've got the golems so pretty interesting but you can see the bcr milestone is a lot easier to go through on the main server i'm like bcr milestone 55 or 54 or something like that here we're bcr milestone 172 and we can just quickly scroll through and see that it maxes out at 325 and every five levels it looks like you get 1 million combat experience but you can also see that you have to click here to claim all of your rewards so that's going to be really good for leveling pet because i mean i've got literally like 100 rewards not claimed here and i can just level up a pet so the strategy for a lot of this is going to be just saving it until you have a golden dragon to level up but every five levels you're going to be getting 1 million combat experience every 10 levels you get five skyblock xp so the skyblock xp scaling is a little bit different for the milestones here it used to be you'd get two per milestone but seeing as they're a lot easier to hit you get half of that now so five xp every 10 milestones actually that's like a quarter of that so the skylark xp from this has gone down a lot but it's a lot easier to get the xp from the individual upgrade and you can see the lost adventure has a very big uh family here you can see the different levels from the different floors so it's got all of the regular ones from floor one or entrance i'm guessing and then floor two all of the different ones frozen adventures as well are included here but they've got like all of the family and it tells you which ones are from master mode so you can see master mode will start right here so that's pretty wild now they've also added the fishing section which you've got your regular sea creatures here which is pretty interesting they have all of the water worms here so if you haven't fought the water worms a lot of people haven't done this it's basically just like the lava worms in the crystal hollows with fishing for worm membranes but you can catch these in different areas besides this very specific one for water worms or for lava worms so it looks like there's going to be a lot of that to do we've got oasis rabbits oasis sheeps as well so we've got a lot of b series to grind out we've got the lava sea creatures as well we've got spooky fishing sea creatures fishing festival sea creatures and winter sea creatures as well now as far as I can tell from these I'm not a hundred percent certain but it looks like it's only counting the ones after you hit the fishing level to be able to catch them because I have assisted with thunders and Lord Jobbuses before in killing them but since I'm not high enough fishing level it's not giving me the kill credit but I'm pretty sure I haven't spawned in seven different nutcrackers since I hit high enough level to catch those and I do have seven kills on that but I could be wrong maybe I have spawned in that many but at least before you hit the fishing level it's not counting your kills for it now they've also got mythological creatures which have been counted it does count a lot of these like before 
before you hit high enough level to fight them. I know I haven't spawned in 15 Inquisitors, so a lot of these were loot shared. But the one that does not have any counts on it is going to be Kudra. They have not counted how much kills you've gotten on the different Kudra mobs. So that you everyone will be starting from scratch once this comes to the main server. But we've got the Blazing Golems, which I haven't even seen. The Blight, Dropships, Explosive Imps, Inferno Magma Cubes, Kudra Berserkers, Kudra Followers, Weather Sentries, Wandering Blazes, Magma Followers, Magma Bacteria, Kudra Slashers, Kudra Landmines, and Kudra Knockers. So the big issue with this, or the big strategy really, is going to be everyone will be doing this in the late game they're going to be focusing on kudras big time so they're not going to actually complete the kudra battles i'm betting they're going to be going to wave 100 plus to try and get as many kills on these different mobs as they possibly can and then once they all die they'll start over and keep going for the high level bestiaries so that's pretty crazy the start of this is going to be wild but you can also see we have different jerrys in here as well so all the different types of jerrys you can see different amounts of kills amount to different levels so golden jerry i'm level six with 10 kills and blue jerry i'm level six with 45 kills so it does take into account the odds of spawning it it looks like because i'm level seven with purple jerrys with less kills than blue jerrys and blue jerrys on level six and i think it's like that for a lot of the different mobs in here and you can see the different boss levels are here as well barbarian duke i'm level 19 with 111 kills and ashfang i'm level 8 with only 15 kills so it does look like a lot of these different ones are going to be around the same level still going to be a lot of ashfangs to kill but at least it's not going to be nearly as many as it was before i also have tentacles here which i think thing is from if i'm not mistaken the matriarch i guess not we didn't get a bestiary for that maybe it's these guys here there we go so it is these guys the uh the hell list in here are called tentacles in the bestiary so that's kind of interesting offspring of the matriarch so they have tentacles and hell wisps so i've never seen the tentacles before but they've got the hell wisp there they don't have any drops it looks like so i guess that would explain why nobody really bothers with them but yeah hell wisps are gonna be a bestiary now which is kind kind of wild there wasn't really any point in fighting them before and now i guess you can actually be able to do some damage to them go ahead and unlock your different bestiaries but yeah i just got two kills and that's already level two in the bestiary we get another kill and that's level three so the early on levels are going to be very easy to get through but just for fun we can go ahead and we do have a level 82 griffin pet right here just to show you guys how wild this bestiary milestone stuff is going to be there's a combat level skyblock level and i'm sure our pet is going crazy uh oh wait i claimed all of them okay so whenever you're doing your level ups here you're not going to want to start all the way up here because it will claim all the ones below it so make sure you go down to whatever level you were at before and start claiming up from there every five if you're trying to level up your golden dragon without going over it but yeah we just claimed all that we went up like four combat levels and i'm sure if we check our pet yeah level 100 griffin and that was without a pet xp boost either so that's pretty crazy skyblock level 308 dude that is sick but the other thing i had a question on was the dragons so we do have 470 dragon kills and i did not spawn all those dragons so it still counts all of the different dragon kills that you've done even if you weren't the person to spawn it in which is really nice very glad that they're keeping that and instant protector won't be as bad either it looks like so that's nice but i'm thinking that it probably maxes out at different levels depending on on the combat island that you're on so it looks like the hub ones will max out at level 15 then they've got the farming islands where they have the different regular farming mobs now that's interesting okay well there's different farming island mobs fight now get be serious on those spiders den dasher spider maxes out at 15 rain slime maxes at 15 weavers at 15 so it looks like these guys are all at 15 as well the end we have 38,000 zealot kills and that is still not maxed so you still need a lot of kills for a lot of these but it looks like they do not max out at level 15 once you get to the end our enderman kills are at 94,000, and it is maxed at level 25 so i'm guessing that's going to be about the same for a lot of these maxing out at 25 then we go to the crimson isle and i'm sure i don't think i have any of these ones maxed i haven't really gotten into blaze beast area yet or blaze slayer so i'm betting that these ones probably max out at closer to 30 if not 35 but deep cavern one i'm sure will be pretty simple dwarven mines i'm sure won't be too bad either but powder gas will be a pain crystal hollows will 
of course be easier sludge maxed out at 15 so i'm guessing that it's going to be level 15 for a lot of these guys as well not too bad the park probably maxes out at 15 too if i had to guess but again this is a lot of assumptions that i'm doing right here but oh that's huge spooky festivals max out at 10 that's a big deal crazy witch is maxed at 10 wither gourd is maxed at 10 so i'm guessing the rest of these will max at 10 question is how much headless horseman kill will max out at and then the catacombs i've got some of these pretty high level there's level 20 skeleton master 21 dreadlord 22 lurker and i'm guessing these guys probably won't max out till closer to 35 50 they may go to 25 only but i wouldn't doubt that they max out really really high just because cat of 50 takes so long to get to it would be nice to have some beast here to be doing along the way but yeah that's everything in today's update that is on alpha so hopefully it comes to the main server pretty soon this is a huge, huge update. It makes bestiary not completely impossible to complete now. So I have been asking for this for ages and I'm glad they're finally making it. Now we've just got to get them to do crop milestones next. But let's just be happy with this and hope that it comes to the main server soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like and sub if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.